All right, folks. So today we're going to take another look at the iLunes HA1 UV. It is a newly released uh, dual band. So it's two meters, 70 centimeters handheld ham radio. In today's video, we're going to look at doing a frequency expansion or expanding the transmission range for this particular radio. This video is for educational purposes only and should only be used in the event of an emergency. By doing a change like this and using this radio, you may be violating FCC rules in North America. I'm not so sure about the rest of the world because I don't really pay attention to the rules there. But what we're going to show is, is that I have this radio set for a GMRS frequency, which is outside the operating frequency for this particular radio. When you key up, it says transmit TX is not permitted. Let me go ahead and hold that up a little bit closer to the camera so you can see that. And there you go. Before I show you how to do this, I did want to say that I was contacted by the fine folks at iLunes or Retivis, and they asked if I would do uh, a review of this particular radio. That means they sent it to me free of charge in exchange for this video review and others that I've done. If you're the type of person who is triggered by sponsored content on YouTube, I suggest you go watch some cat videos. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, uh, I did connect this radio into a power and SWR meter, and then I have that going into a dummy load. And the reason I do that is because, one, I want to see what the power output is when we transmit on high on this GMRS frequency without broadcasting. All of our signal is going to be absorbed through the test fixture, so we're not violating any rules. So the way that you do this is that you press and you hold this lock button here. And when I do that, a lock comes up on the top part of the screen. While this is locked, I'm going to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you should see an exclamation point come up on that screen. Now I'm going to long press the lock key again, and it should unlock my radio. And it has done that. Now when I transmit, you can see that it is transmitting at about 5 watts and that is outside the frequency that comes with this radio. Now if I turn this thing off, and I turn that button the wrong way, trying to be all fancy, and I turn it back on, you'll notice that the exclamation point is missing and I can no longer trans transmit and I get the not permitted uh, sign. So it's a one-time use thing. You can do it every time you turn it on and off if you need to. Again, I would check your local laws, rules, and regulations and make sure that you're by the book. Anyhow, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thank you for watching.